we've been doing a lot of walking around a lot today, and I'll probably actually just be kind of do some of the things that we have. Okay. So I, I'm here with Gary Sabis. Gary is is the guy that has created uh, that pump that that you guys see. It's it's, it's an amazing pump. It does some great stuff. And some of the other videos are going to go into real deep. I mean, nitty gritty detail. Those of you looking for that, you will see all of them. That looks like a big air tank. Nine wells. This system right here is going to power nine wells. And it is. That's a thousand gallon uh, used propane tank that we store air in. That's, that's an air compressor. This is where the fluid is, is coming up. So feel the feel the uh, yep. So that last one is up and over. That's the top pump. Got it. So if you come over here, you'll feel the air blowing out of it. Yep. And it's a little warm. A little warm. Yep. yep. Um, you'll feel it'll get lighter. You'll feel it'll get heavier according to which stage it's pumping because the bottom pump is 1100 feet in the ground so by the time the air displaces it has to travel up 1100 feet and that's why it's so light where the top pump right now is only going 200 feet so it's much quicker to, to make it to that don't produce a lot, say 40, 50 barrels a day, they put them on time clocks with pump jacks and they guess when to pump them. This just automatically regulates, there's no time clock. Once that bottom pump is full with oil, it triggers, it pumps it out, it sends it up the chain, it goes back into standby mode, so it will waste no air, no energy. Nice. Uh, the whole system works full of air. So the whole point is it's, it's incredibly efficient Compared to Absolutely. and use a lot less energy. Exactly. Right. And Got it's, it. It's eco friendly. Uh, it saves energy. There's no moving parts above ground. I mean, there's nothing you could do if you wanted to, with the exception of putting oil in your compressor and right. your compressor going. Many of the oil pumps out there, the pump jacks, they, they talk about the corrosion, the corrosion, the exactly. corrosion. They, they have a lot of problems with corrosion. Uh, so basically, the, the pump jacks, for the last hundred years, it's a steel-dominated industry. They've got steel rods, steel tubing. We've replaced it with plastic. You know, our, the only part of the whole system is stainless steel. That's the pump. Everything else in between, as you can see, is polyfiber.